Hey guys, so for anybody that's watching, I got this camera, a Canon HF20, about a week ago. And since then, I've had a bunch of accessories arriving in the mail. Such like, uh, I got a bunch of lenses. Uh, oh, this is a fisheye lens here. Looks pretty spiffy. Uh, a regular wide angle and a telephoto lens that all came today or in the past few days. Also, uh, what came today was a Canon DM100 mic, which is actually, I'm using it right now. So, um, in this video I just want to test everything and let you see the video quality of this camera and the audio quality of uh, the microphone. So, just uh, if you're wanting to buy either of them, and you're looking on YouTube for your videos to see what they look like or what they sound like, which is what I did. Here's just another one for you to for you to look at. So the Canon DM100 is a shotgun microphone that uh, is made by Canon, so it automatically fits into the mini advanced shoe that's on this camera. You don't need any adapters or anything. It makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> it comes with a this dead cat wind sock so that uh, wind and it, it blocks wind basically while I'm inside I don't really need it so I have it off right now the uh, microphone has three settings it has the shotgun mic which basically it picks up sound in a very narrow field of uh, sound whatever and then it has a 90 degree which is bigger and it's actually outside this frame right now so basically anything in this frame it will pick up sound for it also has a 120 which is even larger and so that it's it just picks up even more sound if you need to pick up a whole scene or you know a concert whatever I'm gonna be doing a test of all three of those with some background noise and I'm also gonna do show you a comparison the onboard microphone so right now this is the onboard microphone for the Canon HF20 and um, I have some music from my computer playing directly behind the camera so you can tell how uh, it picks up sounds around the camera instead of just right here. The shotgun setting on the DM100 hopefully the uh, music in the background is a little less hopefully you'll be able to tell this is the 90 degree setting on the Canon, or on the microphone, so yeah. Alright, I'm out here <coughs> my backyard now, well, behind my backyard. The wind's blowing a little bit, as you can probably see in the grass or whatever, and definitely here. This is with the uh, onboard microphone for the camera. So now here is the DM100. Um, the wind's still, still going. This is also, this is without the, uh, dead cat wind sock, so hopefully there's still some, um, some wind pickup. I also have it on the 120 degree setting, so that you can hear me behind the camera, and you can hear all the other, uh, sounds like birds and grasshoppers, whatever that noise is. But now I'm going to put on the wind sock. So now the uh, wind sock for the Canon DM100 is on the microphone. Hopefully uh, you can, you know, hear the difference. It definitely seems like it. I can't really tell, but my uh, mic level is definitely down. So it seems like it'll, it'll be a bit uh, nicer sounding for you to hear. Right now I'm... Um, after this, I'm going to start switching out the lenses so you can uh, see those ones I got. I got them in a package on Amazon for about $80. You know, they're not like brand name lenses or anything, but what I've seen so far, they've actually, they're, they're really nice. So I'll let you be the judge. So this is the uh, wide angle fisheye lens. I, I like how it, you know 
see everything. But it does have that uh, fisheye warp, as I, uh, you can see as I like get in here close with my hand. The uh, 0.5 times wide angle lens, so you really get the, uh, get the whole scene from over here to over there. You get to see everything, which is definitely nice for uh, scenic shots like this one. So this here's the telephoto. Um, it's two times, uh, two times regular, you know, so it's not a whole lot. Of course, many of your cameras will, or this camera definitely has a uh, 15 times zoom, so two times is not that much, but it does, um, when you zoom in to that 15 times, it uh, adds a little bit more. Let me adjust this here. There we go. So I'm gonna zoom in. It, it just, you know, you can zoom in even further. Like, there we are. So, you can see the mountain. And going back out. Well, I actually thought of uh, one more test. Sorry, I got you all excited about me leaving. But, um,. I'm going to do a distance while I'm outside, so that'll hopefully test the capability of the microphone. Right now I'm standing about 10 feet from the camera, speaking in a uh, rather regular, probably the same tone that I was using from behind the camera. So I'm going to go that way now. So this is about from um, <clears throat> 20 feet to the camera. I'm trying to talk in about the same volume. Hopefully you can still hear me. If not, well that sucks. I'm about 30 feet from the camera. I'm a little bit louder just because I feel like I might need that. I think a snake just crawled over my foot. But, so right now I'm probably 50 feet from the camera. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. Hopefully, we'll find out. Uh, so now this is the onboard microphone for the camera. See, I'm holding the microphone right here. The wind is kind of dry, so you won't hear much of that. 